So I am here at Asus and they also have uh, various interesting products here just like for example routers and mini PCs just like for example this mini PC here with uh, two gigabits LAN ports apparently 2.5 gigabits LAN and Intel Pentium Silver 6000 and 6005 and the Celeron um, processors here integrated graphics uh, up to um, 64 gigabytes of memory as well as they have terabytes of SSD, NVMe and serial ATA that you can put in this little box as you can see here this little machine USB type uh, C and USB 3 as well as micro SD card here in the front and then we have some other things here as well the Zen Wi-Fi Pro that looks very very stylish as you can see here with an ASUS logo and we also have the ASUS router here the RT AXC 7800 and here they have even a bigger mini PC that has an Intel Core i7 included as you can see here up to an Intel Core i7 also up to 64 gigabytes of uh, memory of uh, RAM as well as uh, one terabyte storage SSD uh, SATA or NVMe up to two terabytes here and this is a little box as you can see and they also have this attached to the Asus monitor that you can see here that's the uh, monitor uh, version Asus BE24 ECS and K docking monitor and as you can see here this one is just attached via USB-C to this um, mini PC where we can see we have also HDMI and display port as well as a USB 3 a gigabit uh, LAN connector Wi-Fi included power of course and on the front we have four um, USB type C ports also 3.0 and a USB type uh, C port USB A four times and a microphone and a headphone jack as well very very interesting device I would say and they have two here uh, as you can see here they have also a chrome box 4 that this one is powered with the Intel Celeron N5100 or N4500 or Pentium Silver N6000 with integrated graphics and also up to 32 gigabytes of memory and EMMC 32 of 64 gigabytes included as well as serial ATA extension via SSD for example and uh, also attached to this little uh, monitor here we can see we have even a micro SD card slot there as well as USB uh, A ports too and a headphone jack combined and on the back we have a little bit more as you can see here USB C a uh, USB A 3.1 again a LAN port and USB C for the monitor itself so pretty interesting indeed so Asus has pretty much everything in here just like also some laptop and this is a brand new foldable from Asus as you can see here with this little keyboard that looks a little bit ridiculous I would say but yeah this is the uh, fold that you can fold in half and you can see a little bit of the crease there probably there this is the point where you fold it up and uh, there's a demonstration device here that is folding it up this is probably what they use for testing as well to test out how good the folding device or mechanism is holding up so very nice that they are demonstrating it here and uh, there's also a demo unit where someone is holding it and uh, folding it as well as you can see and here you can see it folded up and the thing is this keyboard here you can just put it here to have it like a normal laptop basically with a touchpad and uh, everything you can just use it it automatically detects it you can see the taskbar here of windows is uh, directly going up here and if i uh, take it off you can see it's just switching up to another mode where i have like the option here to do other stuffs on the device uh, very very interesting indeed and by the way if you are asking yourself how it's called it's the asus zenbook 17 fold oled and of course asus also has their uh, phones here just like for example the Zen Phone 9 that I already presented to you and did a review on it this is the black model with this nice grippy case and uh, yeah the camera system that uh, is still a, li a little bit too much over sharpening and over doing their colors but yeah this is the Zen Phone 9 that they also present here at 
IFA, various different devices, I think even different colors. As you can see here, this is the white model, the same one that I also have. And I think they even have a red model, there's a blue model here. So you can see all of them here in uh, this booth. And of course, Asus also has uh, their Vivo books here, their normal laptops, basically normal in this case with an OLED screen, 16 inch as you can see here, very, very big, very, very immersive as you can see here as well. Uh, nice keyboard, nice uh, touchpad, everything very nice, various different um, ports here, gigabit LAN, power. And uh, we also have, of course, here USB Type-C, Thunderbolt 2, HDMI, USB-A, and we have also 3.5mm headphone jack and here you can see the specs so up to an Intel Core i9 processor with an NVIDIA RTX 3070 Ti on board 16 inch, uh, 16 by 10 aspect ratio, 120Hz refresh rate and uh, yeah, 100% DCI-P3 color gamut 16 gigabytes of uh, DDR5 uh, memory on board up to 2TB PCI Express and only 2.3 kilograms so very lightweight for such a big device i would say and here we have a very interesting pro art studio book pro 16 oled screen which is a very very interesting very powerful device as you can see here it features a 4k oled screen the first in a laptop i would say and as you can see here we have an nvidia rtx a3000 12 gigabyte a gpu kind of device and this device is so thin it looks like it has a power of a gaming laptop but it's very very thin it has a uh, juggle here if you want to cut stuff this is pretty pretty interesting you can press it and you can uh, move around your um, timeline very very easily we have an Intel Core i9 H processor so very very cool indeed as uh, well as 64 gigabytes DDR5 and a very very powerful device and then also pretty interesting the Zenbook Pro 14 Duo OLED screen as you can see it has two screens and we have the possibility to just put one app here have something else here just arrange them in various different uh, ways so you have more screen real estate for working and also this can be turned into one of those juggles that we can see here to edit photos to edit videos very very easily so this is the Asus Zenbook Pro 14 Duo OLED